So we're going to set this bathtub. And in setting the bathtub, you can see what we did. We've dry laid it in place once. We've got our drain ready to go. We've got our level lines marked. Uh, we know what it needs to be set level. To set it level, we're going to use this uh, sand mix to pack under the tub to make sure that the tub is fully supported. You can see where our drain riser is. And then the, the concrete floor doesn't make good contact everywhere. You we'll back up here and see. So we're just going to take and, and shove a, line, a thin line of mortar in there. Then when we drop the tub down, we'll kind of wiggle it back and forth and get the tub back down to our level lines. And then we'll drill the holes and screw it in. And there we go. We want to make sure. I'm just throwing some in there. Yeah. Well, we don't want the mortar to be too thick. We want to make sure that it can work its way up into the webbing of this tub. And so we're not going to go as crazy as we would if it was a smooth bottom tub. I don't know if you can see the uh, bottom of the tub there or not. But this tub has a uh, integrated flange that sits on the floor. You don't even have to use mortar if you know that the uh, floor is nice and level everywhere and our floor is not. And so we're, we're going to set it in, we're going to bed it down so that way we know it's fully supported. It's a $3 bag of mortar and the next tub that we pull out that's got mortar under it will be the first. Uh, but every manufacturer recommends it and I don't know why everybody skips it. contact anywhere? Yeah, it's contact all on this front edge. It can't be far off, I wouldn't think, you know. I would probably even add a little bit on my side on this close on the front, you know, on the outside, whatever. And that, that probably, well, whatever you think, you can see it. It's not down yet, but we can go on and make sure the back, the back is good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try 
I started getting the ears uh, front side there. Good. 